guys it is saturday i thought i would never make it to this weekend <laughs> going back to work after christmas this year was really rough it's always rough starting work back up after christmas especially just because i love christmas so much and once it's over i get really sad <laughs> so going back to work was a struggle but after the first day back i was fine after that but that first day was real rough <laughs> i've always been the type of person that struggles with any type of change though so anytime i start a new semester or the summer starts or i go on break and then back to school or back to work i always struggle with that and i always have for as long as i can remember so i anticipate the struggle coming then it comes and i'm like struggling for a day and then i'm over it but yeah so that's how my week has gone. Now it's finally the weekend and tomorrow morning I have tri -lab practice at 9.30 in the morning and I have to write an opening for practice so I'm going to work on that today. Later on Ben and I are probably going to get something to eat for dinner but other than that, that's what my Saturday will consist of today. There's Eloise back there. Eloise, hi. You're so cute. I'm using Ben's computer because I left my computer charger at work plugged into the wall. So my computer is dead and I can't use it, but really all I need is Word. So yeah, I'm just gonna write it on Ben's computer and print it out and I'll be fine. But yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna write the opening. I have the other two things I had to write done already, I had to write a direct examination and a cross-examination, which I wrote during the week. So that is done. Just have to finish the opening. My classes start up again on Monday, so I'll be back into the full swing of things. I'm actually excited to start classes again because I haven't seen my friends from school in a while, so that will be nice to see them again and to get back into my full routine and I'll be working this semester full days on Tuesdays and Fridays and then I have class Monday Monday Wednesday no Monday Wednesday Thursday I have class yeah so yeah that's my schedule I think I actually have it on my phone let me show you my full schedule for my final semester of law school I was considering dropping a class because I think I have more credits than I actually need. I think I have like three extra credits that I don't need. So if I really wanted to lighten my workload and my class time, I could do that. But I really like all the classes that I have scheduled. So I don't want to drop any of them because I want to take all of them. So it's a conflict. I think I probably will not end up dropping any of them, but... I don't know. I'll see how the first week of classes go and then decide at the end of the week if I want to drop any. This semester I'm taking, I think I said this already, but I'm taking employment discrimination, which I'm excited about. I've been wanting to take employment related classes my whole time in law school, but I've never been able to line them up with my schedule or they haven't been available when they could line up with my schedule so I can finally take them this semester. I'm taking all classes that I have chosen to take because last semester and all the semesters previous I took classes that were required of me and then a couple extra classes here and there but my full schedule this semester is all classes that I want to take so I'm excited about that. But I'm taking employment discrimination, labor law, a class called the art of mediation which is like a mediation skills class and core competencies and trilad so that's my full schedule plus i'm still doing law review stuff um i'm like a team lead for um a group of students on law review who are writing their articles right now so i help them with their articles and edit their articles and their um like source booking stuff i look over all of that and basically just oversee my team of people so yeah here is my schedule which is on my phone this isn't the best representation of it because you can't see the full screen on my phone but yeah i have employment scrim 
on Monday 1 to 2 15 art of mediation labor loss 6 to 8 40 no then on Tuesday I work all day 8 30 to 5 30 Wednesday I have employment to scrim again 1 to 2 15 and nothing else the rest of the day so that'll be nice that'll be when I do most of my homework and stuff like that I can also do my homework Monday morning and Wednesday morning and Thursday morning so and afternoon so I'll have a lot of time to do my homework that's good Thursday I have core comps 2 to 3 50 Friday I have work 8 30 to 5 30 but this Friday we have a happy hour my one professor for my deposition skills last year was so nice and um, just a really good professor and he's having a happy hour for our class so that was really nice of him to do for us so I'm excited for that and yeah I don't know if other professions have happy hours but I feel like there's a ton of happy hours in the legal profession <laughs> like there's just a happy hour for every event that you can think of like somebody's birthday happy hour someone's just starting work happy hour someone's leaving work happy hour Christmas happy hour there's <laughs> just like a happy hour for every event there's a lot of old school things about the legal profession that don't exist in other professions and i feel like happy hour is one of those things so yeah now that that tangent is over time for me to write my opening in her glory the laundry <laughs> do you like that? Ben and I are in the car on the way to go get Mexican food. Are you excited? Oh yeah. Same. Oh, look at that light in back of me. Oh, there it is again. Oh, it's like an angel. An angel of light. We have arrived. Ben and I just got out of the restaurant. I didn't film in the restaurant because I'm a failure at vlogging. Um, and I'm okay. sorry that mm -hmm. I failed everybody, <laughs> but it just happened. I was too distracted by the guacamole and tacos. But I got something different this time and I really regretted it. <laughs> it wasn't bad, it just wasn't as good as what I usually get, which is why I never get anything different normally, but I did this time and this is why I don't do that. So next time, and every other time in the future, I'm getting the same thing. Remind me. What are we doing now? Uh -huh. It's currently 9 o'clock. We're probably going to watch a movie or something. I kind of want a sweet. There's plenty of sweets at home. You just send that yourself. No, like ice cream. Oh, someone just saw me. Like ice cream. adorable we still have our Christmas decorations up I don't want to take them down because I like them too much and we have a fire going right now oh wow we're gonna sit down and watch a movie now I don't know what movie to watch 
Does anybody have any suggestions? Leave a comment down below. Tell me what movie to watch. <laughs> Do you want to watch the one with Emma Stone in it? What was it called? The Favorite. The Favorite? Is it depressing? You? Want one of my coffees? I want the caffeine, but I don't want to pop, so. I'm going to make Ben a coffee. I'm it, actually. I'm all right. No, I'm making it. Shut up, I'm making it. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see, which one should I get Ben? I don't really know the flavors of some of them because um, I threw, oh, the package is over there. I want you and your beautiful soul. I haven't heard that song in forever. It was just on the radio. Who sings that song? The Nespresso came with a little sample pack of things in here, but I took them out and put them in that thing. So I'm just looking to see what the flavors are. I pulled out that orange one. Giornio. Cereal tones and elegant floral notes? What? What is a cereal tone? Like Captain Crunch? Let's try no, another one. Tones. What is, how, how does, does it spell? Like S cereal, like the really? food cereal. Yeah. yeah, it's Captain Crunch for sure then. <laughs> What about this blue one? I think that's probably a strong one. Stormio. Intense flavors and spicy, woody cereal notes again. I love it. Just make sure it has cereal notes. I'm gonna give you this one because I don't think I'm going to drink it ever. I said cereal notes. But I said, hey, make sure it has cereal notes. She goes, what do you want? Hey, the Siri? Uh, the movie. You know you're not allowed up here, Eloise. She always sits on the garbage can because she knows she's not allowed up on the counter. I let her sit on the garbage can, though. I can't really see well in this light. Oh, Stormio is green. This is Odashio. Cereal and fruity notes again. Okay, I'm gonna give you the Giornio. I decided. I'm giving you the Giornio. Here we go. Let's see how it is. Giornio, here we go. Yes, Giornio. It smells good. Look there. Are you gonna beat me? <laughs> That's what it looked like. The Giornio is done. Yes. Giornio, yes! It smells pretty good. I don't want to try it without the sugar and stuff in it. Ben drinks it black. Ew. Oh my god, that's disgusting. How do you drink this black? Nasty. Carefully. It's gross. I would drink a coffee, but I already had two today. Probably shouldn't have another. I won't let another minute go to waste. I want you and your beautiful soul. Who did you say sings that song? I have no idea. Oh. Is it Nick Lachey? Sure. Is it Nick Lachey, Eloise? Or Aaron Carter? Or Nick Carter? Hey, what are you doing? How precious. Oh, Where is it? <laughs> she's just trying to suck you into throwing that hair tie. I need to light a candle to add to the ambiance. Maybe I'll light this one. Ben's sister got him this candle for Christmas. Spiced apple toddy. 
I'm gonna light it. Let's get this candle lit. I made myself a coffee because I couldn't resist. I put it in a mug that says Yas. <laughs> yas. Focus on my mug. Yas. Thank you. We just got done watching the favorite. What did you think of it, Ben? I liked it. Ben said he'd give it an eight out of ten. Seven and a half, eight, yeah. I thought it was very strange. I was confused for a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> but it was good. The acting was really good. It was funny. It was funny, but in a strange way. It was a mean kind of funny. Yeah. But I like that. Usually I like that, but I couldn't understand what they were saying half the time. <laughs> so, it was very hard for me to follow. Wish I had closed captions. What are the other Oscar movies that we have to watch? Roma. Roma. Um, I don't know any of the other ones. Are you serious? If Beale, Beale Street, something. I don't think they came out with the nominations yet. Usually they the don't about, do that till um, after the Golden Globes. Bohemian Rhapsody, I wanted to see that too. Yeah, I know. If a Beale Street could talk and a star is born. Black Lands, what I want to see. Mary Poppins Returns. The Favorite, which we just watched. Eighth Grade. Tully? Probably Tully. Crazy Rich Asians. There's no way that got nominated. For Best Actress. Oh. In a motion picture musical or oh, comedy. Oh, this is going musical and comedy stuff. I was going to say. I was like. I'm going to end the vlog here because it's almost midnight. Or if it's not midnight already. It's 11.50. I feel like I end a lot of my vlogs around the same time. Because I go to bed around the same time. All the time. Wow, am I boring you? Yeah. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. That was rude. All right, I'm gonna end the vlog here. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.